The Reflex Arc by kscience.com. So these are the keywords that you need to know off by heart in this order to know about the reflex arc and be able to describe and explain what's going on. The part of the central nervous system never changes the order. You need to learn this in this order. Okay, so these never change. And but what does change is the stimulus receptor effector and response. So in this example, we're going to give you a stimulus, which is heat. And the receptor is going to be pain receptors in the skin. So we're going to draw this out. So we're firstly going to draw a hand. Inside the skin is where you're going to find pain receptors. And they're going to be stimulated by the heat of a flame. So the stimulus is going to be in this situation, the heat from the flame. And the receptors are going to be the pain receptors in the skin. Now there are other receptors and other stimuli which we're going to go through in another video. So now we're drawing the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron is the neuron that connects to the receptor and it takes the electrical impulse from the receptor to the central nervous system. So the sensory neuron is what we're labeling here. It is the first neuron in the reflex arc. Then we get to a synapse, which, we're going to, which you learn about in a different video. So the synapse is a gap between two neurons. So there's always going to be a synapse between two different neurons. And in this case here, it is the relay neuron. That's the second neuron in the reflex arc. And you find the relay neuron, which is the second neuron in the reflex arc, in the central nervous system. So that is in the brain and in the spinal cord, which is what I'm drawing now, the spinal cord. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. An electrical impulse is now generated in the motor neuron. This is the motor neuron. And the signal crosses the synapse, which is connecting the relay neuron and the motor neuron. So this is now the motor neuron. The motor neuron is the neuron that connects the central nervous system to the effector. An effector can be a gland or a muscle. In this case, it's the muscle in the hand. So the motor neuron is going to connect to the effector, which in this case is the muscle, so the effector. This stays the same, but you've got to identify what the effector is. In this case, it's the muscle in the hand. And then the muscle is going to have a response, which is going to be to contract and move the hand away. So the response is the muscle contracts, the effector contracts and moves the hand away. So that is the reflex arc. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.